Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to do a huge catch up with a lot of things that has been happening with Blender Foundation. At the same time, we're going to talk about some cool features which I presume will be coming to Blender 2.9. So some of these features are things that has been teased before, development tools that I actually feel like they've been abandoned and also some very interesting things that you guys would want to see. So with that said, let's get right into it. We're going to start off with the developers meeting that happened on the 18th of May, 2020. So there was a couple of discussions that actually went on and some announcements were made now one of the cool announcements right here is Yimin who resuming work with the land PR that was developed previously and that would actually help persons that want to render their stuff as outlined in blender this is going to go a huge way to assist and actually help architects and also animation enthusiasts and probably some very cool render guys to get some cool stuff happening with blender there was also conversation about the tracker curfew that we already did a wrap-up of and then the Ubisoft developers were also welcomed in as they had a conversation about this. Now we've already talked about Ubisoft trying to start up a small program where they can start implementing Blender as part of tools for the pipeline and for sure that would make a lot of sense if you follow up with the whole gist for today. Now one of the next things that we're also going to talk about is the bug fixing. So there was a huge sprint for the bug fix last week and this has actually showed up in good results as bug fixes has actually gone 92% all the way up which is going from 30 to 25 so there's a couple of things you're going to find this i'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to see that so with this said there was also a conversation that had to do with 2.83 now this one has to do with the long-term support having a final plan as this has been proposed and it was also announced now the announcement actually happened yesterday which was the 20th of may 2020 so this announcement is about the long-term support pilot program that is about to commence and this is stated that with the release of blender 2.83 blender foundation will start a long-term support pilot program and the program is aimed at ensuring that long-lasting projects projects can be executed under a stable blender version which will provide critical fixes through our two-year plan there is a graph that actually stipulates this but this itself comes with two different conversations or two different news now the very first one is the fact that right now they will be implementing some sort of numbering which has to do with points 1.2.3 point point with the versions of release that will be scheduled based on certain bug fixes that have been done so i really like the fact that they're going with this one so you're going to be having things like blender 2.83.1 blender 2.83.2 and so on and so forth actually if you go over to blender.org right now to download any version of blender you get to start noticing that even blender 2.9 now has blender 2.90.1 now with this said there is also a very cool conversation that is sparked up right here that is the pilot program so a dedicated maintainer would be a assigned to this right now and this maintainer would be responsible for creating things like add-ons that would notify you if there's an update for an event where you know there's a bug and also once there is a new update they will be able to push and release all these updates through blender.org and also some third-party platforms like steam microsoft store and also snap so corporate plans is also right here as they are also looking forward to creating some sort of license agreements for anyone who wants to jump into using these as a corporate organization so so the whole idea right now is most companies don't really make use of softwares without having license and agreement and now blender is actually looking forward to creating something like that so that they can have that as a tool which they can use that is now fully licensed and actually for free there is also an implementation of technical support which is also going to be going on with this you know what i actually think about this right now is for most people that said blender wasn't or isn't industry standard i think the whole idea of this corporate plan right now is going to wrap up the entire tool to become something people would call industry standard because right now once they are having a tool like this they will assign certain maintenance engineers that will take care of issues that would be arising from corporate institutes or you know from organizations or from studios that will be working with blender here they are saying that the agreement or contract are meant to provide sufficient funding to manage the long-term support program to form the dedicated teams of engineers to manage quality quality assurance so for most people that will be using blender just like we're seeing with some companies you know adopting blender right now it simply means that for them to actually 
proceed with working with these two when they have technical issues blender up to the rescue so moving forward from there there is also certain bugs that was actually you know listed out there was also the whole talk about numbering which we've also taken a look at and then the google summer of code is here now google summer of code is actually something that we already made an announcement about which actually started a few weeks back now the beautiful thing about this is there is a current state which you need to know about that has a first and second evaluation and then there is a final submission there's a huge set of projects that has been granted by google for the foundation to actually take on and i'm going to put a link in the description where you can go ahead and find this lovely stuff so all of these right here are things that will be implemented directly in blender as the time progresses now let's dive into the very juicy stuff that you guys want to see the juicy stuff right here is the new features now in blender 2.9 so we're going to scamper through these ones and then we'll talk about some juicy stuff that you will probably be seeing in subsequent release of blender hopefully these features i'm going to announce right now might be coming to blender 2.9 or they might be coming to blender 2.91 you know and so on and so forth now the very first one which is a new feature that is now in blender 2.9 is the beautiful dialog box for me i think this actually makes a lot of sense so if you simply go over to the blender icon right now and click on the about page you will be able to notice that we have a brand new beautiful dialog box that you can actually work with all right so if you simply you know grab onto this and go over to the about this makes sense if you're using a previous version of blender this might not really be the case so if i simply go over here you would notice that we do have the about but there is actually you know really nothing to show you about blender so this makes sense to see that we now have that as this might encompass a whole lot of things as they can actually go in here and start putting credits to the developers that are part of this tool and also maybe to the beta testers and you know all that stuff and this in itself makes a lot of sense another cool feature which wouldn't look like much is the update to the text field so for example not this text but for example if you simply come right over here and you choose to change the text so let's say we call this blender let me just simply type this well blender text right right now you can simply do an undo and you can now do a redo this is very small but you know it might actually save you some time imagine after typing a long sentence or you know typing a long expression within a text field and then you mistakenly get rid of that now this is a very you know novelty update but that in itself does not apply to 2.8 or 2.82 as if i simply go all the way and type the word blender and type the word text i cannot undo do right now so there is no way i can actually undo so there is just undo within this all right i cannot really undo around here let's go ahead and type that again and actually let's do that blender text i cannot undo as you can see and at the same time i cannot redo so very you know tiny update but it works and this would save us a whole lot of time in some cases next up is the grease pencil also has a couple of updates that has to do with x-ray and also anti-aliasing there's also a preference option for default empty size for a collection instance if this is also something that you want to work with and now with all of this said we will also take a look at some very cool stuff which i think we should be expecting in 2.9 so one of the cool things which i think we will be expecting in 2.9 which was actually teased in 2.8 or you know during the time production for 2.8 was coming is this cool feature so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this so there is a feature right here which was supposed to come and this feature was actually known as blueprint at the time so hopefully you know about this tool hopefully you don't but blueprint in itself is a tool that was supposed to come and you know blueprint the whole live remesh tool the projection mask the voxel remesher all of these were all piled up as things that were supposed to ship with blender 2.80 and they didn't make it to that they didn't make it to 2.81 2.82 2.83 0.83 so these are progressive tools that has been you know going on i'm going to pull links to the build where you can see this and you would notice that most of the features that are supposed to come with this have actually been implemented in blender 2.83 but right now since 2.83 is within its final peak of testing and you know quality assurance i think these features would make it to 2.89 now owing to the features especially with the modeling tools that is being implemented i think blueprint tool would probably be coming to 2.89 so if you already have this or i'm going to put a link where you can test out this build right now it's slightly buggy or it's you know it's a bit buggy if you go ahead and click directly here you can actually click make one click you know go over to the next part and you can you know create things like this so with this i think a lot of people will have a field day working with this so we've already started seeing some sort of updates 
of things that looks like SketchUp, you know, in Blender. And with this right here, this might actually save the day and make a whole lot of people happy. So you can create a huge, huge set of things. Now, this tool is supposed to come with an extra set of features. From here, you can see there is a rectangle, there's an ellipse, there's a polyline, and there's also a free hand tool. There's just a couple of parameters right here that you can also go ahead and play with. But for the most part, this is a bit buggy as to any of the ones you select, which isn't the rectangle, you might just simply have a crash. And you know, if the 2.9 uh, extruding tool also ships with it I think people will have a field day working with this there's also some other cool tools that would probably be coming that consist of the color operator so mask by color is also something else there is also the color filter itself which is supposed to be coming and the color filter would be able to give you options so if we simply switch this to the sculpt mode so the color filter itself is supposed to give you options there's this mesh filter right here there is a color filter and there is also a mask filter all right so the color filter in itself was supposed to give you options so if i simply select this right now options to change hue saturations and all of these things you know exactly the kind of things you can do in zbrush you will be able to play and get all those things up and running so these are you know basically a few updates and few things which I feel you know we should talk about and you know get you guys up to speed with blender 2.9 is definitely gonna come with some cool features and if all of this comes together there is also going to be a huge huge set of things that a lot of people would start being able to do with blender for me I think you know if we can start getting some cool animation layered stuff that would make a lot of sense I think the guys at blender foundation are doing everything that they can to actually get things up to speed I love the whole idea of breaking down the long-term support I love the brand new naming system that you're coming with all of these things all come together to make this one awesome app that kind of fits all so tell me what you guys think about all of this cool updates in the comment section and you can support the channel on patreon i'm going to put a link in the description and also on the end notes if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.